see if we can get a few more people. Bernard as well, how, how'd you find it, mate? It's, uh, you, might, you actually might look the best out of everybody here. Uh, you know, to be fair, running is not my um, thing. I don't really like running. But like Josh was saying, anything that gets people out here and out and about and on a cracking Melbourne day, it's got to be good, right? And, and I, I'm an ambassador for One in Five, which is one of the, uh, the uh, part, partnering sponsors of the, of the race. And, uh, you know, it's, this is a charity sort of for mental, mental illness. And something like this is really great for your mental health, you know, just getting out, even if it's walking or running and stuff. So it's... Um, you know, it's a great day out for everyone. Absolutely, it's great to see so many men talking about mental health as well. Obviously, a little bit of taboo for a long time, but beautiful to see so many people coming together. Did you expect to finish up this high, or what were you expecting coming into it? I, I look, to be fair, I was watching Husey actually. I had him in my sights, and I'm like, if I just put in a little bit of extra effort, I might catch him. But <laughs> again, on the hill, he kind of took off because he was chasing after Josh here. So it's it's Husey the pinnacle. It seems like everybody just wants to beat Husey. Yeah, Husey is the, you know, because he's such a competitive beast. It's kind of like, he's, a, he's, he's the chaste, he's the scalp you want. I'm sure he would love to hear that, having come second twice now. We'll see if we can get, we see Dustin Fletcher make his way through the line now as well, also with another celeb, so we'll try and get these guys down here, but thank you so much guys for coming down and being great ambassadors for uh, the event and mental health. We don't, we don't love low oil trams. So you moved all right for a low oil tram, though. How'd you find the lap? 3.86k, that's pretty far. I found, I found it much more um, longer than I expected. I thought it was going to be, like, like when I was going down the hill in the more dense part of the bush, um, I was expecting the, the next turn to be the finish, and then I basically had to do the whole thing again. Yeah. It ain't fun, is it? I was saying it's a bit of a wasteland feeling over the back. You don't know if you're going to make it. If you keep talking this well, you might also take my job. But what else you got for me? Um, so the footy play, the Essendon footy Dustin play. Fletcher. Dustin this Fletcher. Dustin Fletcher. Yeah. yeah. He was my component. Oh. I think he was my opponent. I was, I was against him the whole time. And you got him because Dustin, Dustin's just finished, so you've beaten him. I, I think I did, yeah. You've got his measure. We'll, we'll get him over here. Dustin, did you know that you were competing against Fox, or is that news to you? I could see him in front of me, and I thought, when should I go? And then he found a burst, and uh, I was gone. So he's done well. You hate finding another gear. How did you find it? We were talking about 400 football games. What was harder, the 400 or this? Oh... Uh, Probably the 400, but I enjoyed it. It's a nice day and it's great to see everyone out about having a bit of fun. So. Nah, it's a cracker. Do you run a bit around here? Is this sort of, you've come out now and uh, just had a go? No, nah, I probably should start running a little bit more, but um, yeah, I'm back doing a bit, you know, stuff sports industry, so it's probably now I start at uh, 47 to, to get back into it properly. That's a great age to get back into it. Well, I'm glad you found it okay. It's a cracking morning for it. We'll see, uh, we'll see who else is around here, but you've all done a great job. Thanks, Dustin.